Today I want to talk about Newton's first law of motion. First, I want to write this law and then I'll describe about this. According to according to Newton's Newton's first law of motion everybody continues continues to be in its state state of rest or of uniform motion in a in a straight line unless an external force force x on it it to changes change its state Okay, this is Newton's first law of motion. Looking at this, what can we say that if a body is at rest, it remains at rest. And if a body is in motion, it continues its motion in the same direction or same straight line. If force is applied on it, then only it will be able to change its state. And this is the uh, simple understanding of this Newton's first law of motion. But... I want to describe this very in a little a very detail a little detail how look at this we can divide into two parts uh, we can divide Newton's first law of motion into two parts according to Newton's first law of motion everybody continues to be in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line till this one part and then, on this, an external force X I need to change this state. This is second part. Actually, you don't have to write or you don't have to discuss anywhere about this that Newton's first law of motion can be divided into two parts. This is wrong. But I want to describe this with the help of these two parts. What is told? A body, everybody continues to be in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line. What it mean? It means. It's very simple that the bodies have inability to change their state of rest or motion by themselves. Now, I want to focus on this inability. Whether the body is at rest or in motion, they have inability to change their state of rest or motion by themselves. Such an inability is called inertia. This inability, which is contained in the body at rest or motion, is called inertia. Now, another uh, term came, inertia. Thus, it defines inertia. I mean to say, Newton's first law of motion uh, defines inertia. And uh, the last part, look at this last part. On unless an external force acts on it to change its state, what it means? It means, very simple, force can only change the state of the body. Force is an agent which can change what? Change the state. The state of the body. What it means? So it gives the qualitative definition of force. It gives the definition of force. In, in one of the side, in first part, 
what it tells this Newton's first law of motion tells about the inertia it defines inertia what is the de definition of inertia and second part says that force is an agent that can change the state of the body now uh, i want to tell you a little more detail then what is inertia we can say it like this inertia is the property of the body due to which it resists the change in its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line what it mean inertia means the uh, inertia is the that property of the body which resists the change of its state if a body is at rest it tends to continue its state of rest and if a body is in motion then it tends to continue its state of motion that kind of inability contained in the body whether it is at rest or motion is called what inertia in this way this definition defines about the inertia now how it gives the definition of force here it is told that unless an external force acts on the body uh, it doesn't change its uh, state it, if it is at rest continues its rest and if it is in motion continues its state of motion it means it, it gives the definition of force force is an agent an external agent which can change the state of rest or motion of the body okay this way we can uh, we can understand about the newton's first law of motion firstly what i highlighted here actually it gives number one definition of inertia it gives the concept of inertia and it defines the inertia and second part it gives the definition and uh, an average definition a qualitative definition of uh, the force this way newton's first law is related with inertia and force okay this much for today